to think of foreign films as less than your own culture's entertainment is as preposterous as the notion of premarital sex. Art is the closest your pathetic existence will ever come to learning another language. You cannot speak Japanese, but we could safely deduct that Hokusai bears his own truth about the beauty of a wave. You cannot speak German, but we can agree that these paintings are a bit shit. What captivates us in art and entertainment is ideas, and ideas transcend language. I once went on a date with a Korean lady who I bored to death with expressing my love for her nation's cinema. The fearlessness to dip into every genre under one title, the unpredictable but expected dramatic shifts in tone. She simply sighed and said, I don't know, Trego, they're all kind of the same. She then went home deflated, as like you, I do not get laid. But still, how's that for perspective? Foreign cinema is an olive branch to see the world through the eyes of a culture that isn't pushing an agenda on you to experience different fashion, architecture, dynamics, perspective, philosophy, sexuality, perhaps. For every bad movie in the West, there's a bad movie in the East. For every masterpiece local to you, it's equal resides around the corner. Pick your theme, nocturnal animals and amour about love. Parasite and Atonement are about class. A hidden Life and The Hunt are about the spread of toxic, toxic ideology. My Feral Heart and The Untouchables are beautiful stories about disability, and burning is an experience. The all-American Quentin Quarantino attributes his success to his love of early Hong Kong cinema. George Lucas was inspired to make Star Wars after watching Kurosawa's A Hidden Fortress. The Villainess was inspired by John Wick 2, and then John Wick 3 was inspired by The Villainess. The Magnificent Seven was based off Seven Samurai, and then westerns like Unforgiven inspired samurai movies like Yurosawa Zero. What the fuck? Anyway, what I'm getting at is the concept of foreign films is non existent, really. It's all ideas. Ideas of which are now more easily shareable than ever if only you can transcend the one inch high barrier of subtitles. Accepted or not, we're all raised with certain prejudices by our predecessors. And the thing I love most about seeing films of a different culture is that despite the nuances of each community, large and small, regardless of age, sex, class or race, we all suck just as hard as one another. Check out Bong Joon-ho's Parasite if you haven't already. That is Lee's Les Miserables, not the musical. Laszlo's Son of Saul, Pavakowski's Cold War, Lorraine's Emma, Le Trois Colères trilogy is a treat, Baccarat was fucking nuts, and The Assassin is stunning, but no cultural Rolodex is complete without Romeo and Juliet. Today's episode is sponsored by some VPN or streaming service, which is great and I use it all the time. My name is Trago. And I love filmmaking, because it's not just filmmaking, it's life. All I want to do is snuggle up on the sofa with you and feed you popcorn, sweet or salted. <laughs>